Here we are in the beautiful neighborhood of Foz. Let's take a look at what this district has to offer. What's up expats and travelers alike? I'm Josh with Expats Everywhere. And I'm Kaylee. And at Expats Everywhere, we're dedicated to bringing you guys authentic information on what it's like living in a new place. We touch on stuff like budget, what to expect when moving to your new place, and how to integrate with your new community. Right now we're going through a bit of a mini series where we go into different neighborhoods in Porto and we break down things like housing, landmarks, eateries, and things like that. So if you want to see the playlist, check the description below. If you like this kind of stuff, then subscribe. Let's break down Faj. Faj de Douro, or commonly known as Faj, is along the water situated in the western part of Porto where the Douro River meets the Atlantic Ocean. It is further west of the Ribera neighborhood. Foch is a really desirable district to be in, especially if you want more of that coastal life and less of that city life. The name actually means Mouth of the Douro, referring to the Douro River. This neighborhood has a humble beginning as it used to be a fisherman's village. Currently the neighborhood is more quaint, but it's known to be upscale. Here you will find stunning mansions and plenty of upscale housing. To contrast that, you can visit Faj Vela in the southern part of the neighborhood with more low-rise style buildings. These streets are narrow and windy and have a different feel to other parts of Faj. Faj is definitely known to be one of the most expensive areas of Porto to live in, which is evident with the tall apartment buildings, beaches, and the many upscale shops and restaurants. Yes, you can enjoy a long walk along the boardwalk or promenade where you can choose to be closer to the beach or closer to the street that runs along the coast. This is also a great place to exercise as you can see people jogging and riding their bikes. The area has a mix of sandy beaches and shoreline rocks, which work as great natural loungers for those looking to soak up the rays. There's also greenery along the coast that is relaxing to walk through. There are different landmarks to visit, but two of the most notable ones are the forts along the water. The fortress São João Baptista de Foch is a stronghold constructed in the late 16th century to safeguard the mouth of the Douro. The other is Fort of São Francisco do Queijo, also called Castle of the Cheese, which dates back to the 15th century. It is small, but in a great location for a beautiful view of the water. Another place to see is Faral de Fagares, which is a 17 meter tall granite lighthouse that was constructed in 1886. Currently, it only functions with an emergency sound. Here are a few other places to check out in Faj. There are a few restaurants along the beach, but if you head up to street level, you will find many more, some with views and others set a bit more inland. You'll also find a good mix of shops. Again, you will find that the fashion and lifestyle tends to be more upscale. You can walk through the narrow and windy streets to explore. The neighborhood is known for the beach and its luxury, but you will find green spaces there as well. Jardim do Paseo Alegre is a great park to walk around in. It also has a spot to play mini golf or a little cafe to grab a coffee. Foch is a great neighborhood to be in if you would prefer to be by the beach and want a more relaxed vibe compared to the buzz of the city. Unfortunately, there's not a metro line that connects Foch to the city center, but you do have the tram and buses for easy access around Foch and into the downtown area. Let's take a look at five different eateries to enjoy in Foch. 
Urbana is a bit off the main street that runs along the beach, but the healthy options and the friendly staff make it a place to grab a bite at. It has a small but shaded terrace and offers a delicious menu of the day to try. We are here at Urbana, which is more of a healthy, natural type restaurant, and we got the menu of the day, so we're excited to taste it. Looking forward to this. Let's dig in. Sia, what are you eating? Who can complain about grabbing a caipirinha along the beach? Not us. Head to Kaipi Company for a drink and a view. You can't beat this location. While Fage is known for its beaches, that doesn't mean you have to have every meal and snack along the beach. There are hidden gems all over the neighborhood worthy of being noted, and one of those gems is Ah Balashera. This unassuming cookie shop is nestled around high-rise apartment buildings and might not seem like much, but whoa are the cookies good. It's also a great place for the older kiddos to use some coins to grab a treat and hang out. Another great place for fancy pastries and a coffee, but closer to the beach, is Mademoiselle. This cute cafe offers a French style croissant and a variety of macaroons to try. taken a quick stop in Mademoiselle. It's in a really good location and they've got some great desserts to try. See you, ready. All right, want to blow the budget and go extravagant? Head to Villa de Foch restaurant where you'll feel like a noble at this fine dining restaurant. Expect to taste the freshest of seafood and have a sublime gastronomical experience, or so their website says. All right, it's time. Let's give our ratings on Foch in terms of the livability there. Kaylee? You go first. Oh, okay. <laughs> so as you know, and maybe you guys might know, I'm not really a beach person. Uh, mm -hmm. However, Foch is very beautiful as you've just seen. I'm gonna go ahead and give Foch a three. Um, two reasons. One is I'm not really that big of a fan of the beach. Mm -hmm. More than three reasons. Two, how expensive it is, because I think Foch is quite expensive, and it is the most expensive housing in Porto, which makes sense because anytime you're by the beach, housing prices go up, right? The other reason is it's really far away from Porto. I love Porto. I mean, I love the historic city center. I love being able to walk down through the, throughout that history. And when I go to Foch, although I really enjoy going out there, when I go there, I feel like I'm in a different city. That's very true. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, I would agree with that. So I would actually give it a three as well, even though I like the beach. What? <laughs> Surprising. I like the beach, Florida girl here, but I also like the city and I agree that it is just too far from the actual city and everything going on there. So it is almost like living in your own little bubble in a sense, not in a bad way, but if that's the lifestyle you want to live, if you want to be by the beach and you want to have that more kind of beachy feel, relaxing feel, then this is definitely the place for you. Foz is beautiful. But for me, I don't want to live there. I'd rather just go there and visit, go out there for the day, go to the beach for the day, go to the parks there, things like that. Um, I would rather be closer to the city where there's more going on and living in the city rather than living in Foz. So that's why I would give it a three. That's fair. Surprise. I think that that Fosh can be an absolutely amazing place for some of you guys, mm -hmm. especially if you really need that connection to the beach, go for it. If you've got the cash to splash, go for it because it's a great lifestyle. Many people in Porto will tell you that there is something like about being Fosh or that's so Fosh and it's like essentially like 
being posh or mm -hmm. a, a high class person. The upscale feel that's there. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Our Portuguese people, especially the ones living in Porto, put in the comment section what actually that means because I don't think I articulated it that well. So since you guys clicked on this video, we're assuming that you like information about the Porto neighborhoods. So click this playlist right here to check out more on the Porto neighborhoods that you could live in. Now let's get moving. Bye. Bye.